Now, a lot of people also use tasks or Outlook tasks. So you can see here, I've got a number of tasks here already. Um, I've got um, some things that are due today. What I might do now is just add a new task. Let's just go do something and we'll give it a start date and an end date. So we'll start it today. We'll give, uh, give a week to do this. We'll save and close. Okay, so we can now see that I've got that added in Outlook. What we're now gonna do is jump back into uh, To Do, and let's have a look and see what happens here. So I'm just gonna jump back into Tasks, and what we'll see in, in just a second, I might speed this up and let's sync this. You can see now that I've got that task that's come into my default task list here called Do Something. I can then move that around if I need to. I can add it to my day again, um, and that will then appear in my day. Now the good thing here, again, there's a sync happening. So I might be in Outlook. We saw the sync before when I completed something in To Do, it synced back to Outlook. What about, the, what about the reverse? So I'm gonna mark this as complete. That's now complete. We'll jump back into to do. This is the task in question here. Again, I'll speed up things here and we'll sync it. And what we'll see here is that task in a second will be completed and that will get removed from my task list as well. All right, so there's a two way sync there. Really, really, really beneficial, saves us time. We can do something in one spot and it's gonna reflect exactly the same in the other.